Welcome to the Dishwasher Toe Kick installation video. One of the last steps in installing your dishwasher is installing the supplied Miele Toe Kick. The included toe kick will fit as is if the machine is set to the maximum height and the toe kick is recessed as far as possible. If the machine height is less than the maximum, or if the toe kick is not recessed 4 inches, the toe kick must be trimmed. The rear of the toe kick has two pre-perforated cutting lines which will assist you in trimming your toe kick. To get started, you will need a Torx T20 screwdriver, flat tip screwdriver, utility knife, pencil, level, and the toe kick hardware that was included in your dishwasher install packet. This includes one toe kick, two toe kick brackets, two T20 Torx screws, and two plastic screw caps. Depending on your dishwasher height and leg adjustment, the toe kick bracket can be inserted in two different configurations, up or down, like so. This will allow for various toe kick height adjustment options that will best fit your needs. First, after confirming your dishwasher is level and the height adjustment is complete, insert the dishwasher toe kick brackets on both the left and right side. When inserting the toe kick brackets, press the tab over like so with either your finger or a flat tip screwdriver. Make sure the brackets are pushed all the way in before securing the toe kick. This will allow for maximum adjustment when aligning with your adjoining cabinetry. Next, install the toe kick and secure with the two included T20 torque screws. Make sure the toe kick is installed with the cutting lines facing towards the top. Now, slowly pull the toe kick out evenly to align with your adjoining cabinet toe kick area. Please note, the toe kick brackets can't be pushed back in once the toe kick is secured. If the toe kick is pulled out too far and needs to be readjusted, the toe kick will need to be unscrewed so the tension clip tab can be pressed and the brackets can be pushed back in. Once the toe kick is aligned, use a level to confirm the toe kick is flush with the adjoining cabinets. Then, slowly open the dishwasher door and use a pencil to mark where the toe kick needs to be trimmed. Proper trimming of the toe kick will allow for full dishwasher door clearance when opening. Now, close the door and remove the screws and toe kick, being careful not to disturb the toe kick bracket alignment just made. Place the toe kick on a protective mat where it can be safely trimmed where marked. Flip the toe kick upside down and choose one of the two pre-perforated cutting lines that best align with your pencil line on the opposite side. Using a utility knife, carefully cut the right and left perforated areas and then score straight across and separate. Now reinstall the shortened toe kick and again secure with the two T20 torque screws. Make sure the toe kick brackets remain in the same position as you had during alignment with the adjoining cabinets. Once the toe kick is secured, slowly open the dishwasher door again and make sure you have proper clearance when fully opening. Confirm again that the toe kick is flush with the adjoining cabinets. If all looks good, insert the two supplied screw caps and you're all done. This concludes this dishwasher toe kick installation video. Everything covered in this video can be found in your step-by-step -step installation instructions. Thanks for watching.